Hi guys. Today we're going to do a mat based Pilates workout with our circle here and should get our whole body with a little bit of extra resistance from your fitness circle. So if you have one of these, grab it, have it nearby, grab your mat and let's get started. So we're going to start seated today. I'm up tall on my sits bones. My knees are bent for comfort here. You can also send your legs out wide if you'd like and have them straight or bent. Okay, we're just going to start with our breathing and we're going to use our circle for a little tool to give us some resistance and some focus through our upper body. So I've got my arms out on my circle, the base of my palms, my fingertips are long. I'm stacked up tall on my sits bones and I'm going to breathe. Inhale in. On the exhale, start with your chin and round down. Now as you round down, pressing gently into that circle, feeling through the shoulder girdle, my abs are tight. I'm going to breathe and send the breath to the widest parts of my rib cage. On my exhale, I'm going to stack my spine up, releasing my circle and lengthening up. Breathe, inhale. On the exhale, start at the head, roll down, pressing gently into your circle. Breathe. Stack the spine up nice and tall. One more time, breathe, inhale, exhale. Strong shoulder girdle, shoulders are relaxed, rib cage is breathing wide. Exhale, stack it up tall. Excellent, I'm gonna pick that circle up and hold it there. I'm gonna hold it in the base of the palms. I'm gonna reach forward, separating my shoulder blades and then pull back gently and squeeze. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, squeeze. It's just that protraction, that moving of those shoulder blades and that retract back. Two more, inhale, nice and long from the top of the head. Last time, a gentle squeeze of that circle there. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows and draw it back down in front. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, shoulders stable as you draw up. Bend with control and out front. One more like this. Inhale up. Exhale, bend and reach. Now the reverse. Inhale, bend in a gentle squeeze. Exhale, up and then down. Inhale, bend, warming up through the arms and the shoulders. Keeping the rib cage nice and controlled as we work here. And down. Excellent. I'm going to bring those knees bent a little bit more. And we're going to roll all the way down to the mat. Arms to the ceiling. Bend those knees up here. Pelvis is neutral. Rib cage is wrapped. Breathe. Inhale. On the exhale, start with the top of the chin and roll the top of the spine up, reach that circle towards those legs, and then roll back down. Your pelvis is neutral here, your rib cage is wrapped. Exhale, slide the shoulders down, slight pressure on that circle, and then roll right back down. Two more like this, just warming up through those abdominals, and then down, pulling that deep transversus layer in, as we flex up using the obliques. Now, we're gonna do obliques, exhale, flex up and twist to the right side, reaching long, and then down, and then to the left. Chin comes forward first, shoulders are stable, that circle reaches on the outside of those knees, and again, curl up, pressure into those handles, and down, and again, curl up, reach, and down, Exhale, you have two more on each side. Chin comes forward with you. Exhale, trying to look right in the center of where that circle is. Pelvis remains neutral, abs are pulling up and in. Last time on the left side. And then down. Excellent, we're gonna work a little bit in through the pelvis here. I'm just gonna hold that circle over my chest here. Exhale to imprint and inhale neutral. Exhale, imprint, and inhale, neutral. Now remember your imprint, just those obliques, pulling the ribs and hips closer. Two more, imprint, and neutral. Now last one, your imprint, and hold it. Let's challenge it, raise your right leg. Deepen those abs, raise the left. Good, now I'm gonna take my circle, 
place it in my thighs, right above those knees. Changed my mind from those ankles. We'll bring it down there later. Now, I've got that circle holding in those thighs. Those legs are wide and parallel. This is gonna help us with our imprint. On your exhale, squeeze your circle. Imprint, inhale, release, and neutral. Exhale, imprint. Now, squeezing your inner thighs helps you engage those abdominals. It also helps you take a little bit of the focus away from the hip flexors so that you don't imprint and neutral so that you don't pull those legs back. Last one, imprint and neutral. Now, I'm going to curl the body up and grab that circle, raising my legs and place that in between my ankles. I'm still parallel here and the circle is just above the actual ankle joint. Legs are parallel with those ankles in alignment also. Bend these knees here, breathe, inhale. On your exhale, imprint, curl the top of the body up. We're gonna go right into your hundred here. In two, three, four, five, straighten the legs, squeeze the circle, two, three, four. In two, three, four, five, squeeze, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Nice inner thighs there and exhale, two, three, four, five. In two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, breathe, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, breathe, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, two more. Last set. Bend those knees in, nice work for those inner thighs there. Take those feet right back down. Excellent job. I'm going to take that circle again and place it into those thighs. I'm going to take the feet a little bit wider. We're going to use that for a little bit of activation in through our bridge. Exhale, roll your hips all the way up. Squeeze at the top, nice and neutral. Now let's squeeze that circle for three. Exhale, two. Inner thighs are active. Last one. Release and roll down. Now as you're exhaling and squeezing that circle, focus on those abs. Exhale, roll up, energies up and over, and we squeeze. Exhale, two. Exhale, three, and then roll it right back down. Excellent, two more times. Exhale, roll up, energy goes up and over those knees, and we squeeze. Exhale, two. Exhale, three, and then roll it down. Let's get you one more. Exhale, scoop and roll up, squeeze at the top, and one. Exhale, two, inner thighs and glutes, three. Hold it and roll down. Awesome. Take that circle, send it long over the head by the ears, keep the rib cage anchored, and let's start with your chin and roll up. Scoop through all the way over those legs and then roll down, reaching through those fingertips. Use that circle for a little bit of control through the shoulder girdle. Reaching long over those toes and rolling down, feeling the pace be measured and controlled by the circle squeezing and the energy in the ankles. Start with your chin, squeeze your circle, slide your shoulders down, wrap through those obliques Roll through all the way over and down. Two more times here. Inhale. Using that breath, reaching long, trying to keep those feet flexed and that energy in through the base of the palms. Here's your last one. Reach long and then all the way down and hold, excellent. I'm gonna bring that circle down by my side. We're gonna flip over on our belly. We're gonna warm up a little bit through the back. Legs are nice and long. Abs are nice and tight. And we're gonna take that circle and I'm gonna hold it out long in front of me with my hands on top there. So similar to what we did in our breathing, you can have your hands on the outside of the handle so you just have a little bit more room there. Shoulders are stable here. You're slightly extended. 
Exhale, press down into the circle as you roll the top of that spine up and then right back down. So giving that pressure into that circle, exhale, engage and lift, gives you a little bit of extra activation in through the shoulder girdle. Those last couple of ribs stay on the mat. Exhale, pressing down and engaging and then lower. One last time like this, exhale, engage and lift and then lower. Reach that circle long, take your hands underneath your head and let's just do a little hover here. Head, hands and elbows all come up on your exhale and then inhale down. Exhale nice and long and low and down. Again, the legs are still relaxed. Exhale, lift and lower. One last time, please. Exhale, lift and lower. Excellent. We're going to continue here on our stomach with our circle in our ankles. So you can reach back, place that circle in the ankle of one leg and then in the ankle of the other. And then just make sure you turn around to the other side and you make sure you got a good grip on it. You can also sit up and place it in the ankles and then lie back down. All right, so now I've got my legs a little bit wide. My knees are wider than my ankles. And we've got that little bit of control there. So you want to try and make sure your feet are level and even. Let your head rest down. And we're going to do that heel squeeze here. Exhale, squeeze the heels and release. Good. Now anchor your pelvis down, tip of the nose is down or the forehead. Exhale, squeeze and down. Exhale, head can come to one side or the other. Exhale. Good. Now you're feeling inner thighs here as you're squeezing this circle, keeping the front of your hips reaching down. Two more. One last time. And release. Send those legs out long. Lift them up. Now the base of your circle there will rest, but your feet will not. We're going to do nice straight legs here. Exhale. Lift both legs up. Squeeze gently and down. Try to keep those knees nice and long. Exhale. Lift and lower. Those abs are really tight. Now, if this does not work and it challenges your lower back too much, get rid of your circle. Let it just drop and then do one leg at a time. Exhale. Lift. You want the movement to come from the glutes and the legs, the lower back does engage, but it doesn't do the work of lifting the legs. So you don't want to engage the back muscles to lift the legs. You want to squeeze the butt and reach through the toes. Good. Two more. But knowing that this is lower back work. So if it does bother you, pull your abs in and reach. You can get rid of that circle. Last one like this. Exhale up and done. Now, let's let go of that circle, everybody. Kind of swing it off to the side there so it's not in your way. And then push yourself back on your hands and knees and stretch.